A curve has equation y equals 2x minus 1 to the power of minus 1 plus 2x. Find dy over dx and d squared y over dx squared. dy over dx is just a differentiation of y. And since there are two parts to our y, we can differentiate the two parts separately, then add them together later. When differentiating y equals 2x minus 1 to the power of minus 1, we can use the chain rule by letting u equals 2x minus 1. If u equals 2x minus 1, then du over dx, which is the differentiation of u with respect to x, equals 2. And with this value of u, our y now equals u to the power of minus 1. Then we can differentiate y with respect to u, which is dy over du, and that equals minus 1 u to the power of minus 2. We can use this to find dy over dx because dy over dx equals dy over du multiplied by du over dx. The du in the first term and the du in the second term cancel out. So we just need to multiply the two values or the two expressions we got for these two. Once we've done this, we can just replace the u in our expression with 2x minus 1, and therefore we have the value of dy over dx. Then for the second part, which is 2x or y equals 2x, we can just directly differentiate this and dy over dx for this part is equal to 2. So our full dy over dx is just the addition of these two parts. So that's minus 2 times 2x minus 1 to the power of minus 2 plus 2. To find d squared y over dx squared, it's just a differentiation of our dy over dx. However, if you differentiate it from dy over dx equals something, it's hard to set up the chain rule. So if you let y equals minus 2 multiplied by 2x minus 1 to the power of minus 2 plus 2 and differentiate from this, you can use the chain rule properly and it also looks easier. Again, we can differentiate this into two parts. So the first part, which is minus 2 times 2x minus 1 to the power of minus 2, and the second part, which is just plus 2. For the first part, we have y equals minus 2 times 2x minus 1 to the power of minus 2. Again, we can let u equals 2x minus 1, find du over dx, which is equal to 2. This makes y equals minus 2 u to the power of minus 2, and then we can find dy over du. And again, we can find dy over dx by doing dy over du multiplied by du over dx. And then we can replace the u with 2x minus 1 again. For the second part, for y equals 2, dy over dx is just 0. Therefore, our full d squared y over dx squared is just 8 multiplied by 2x minus 1 to the power of minus 3.